So would you like to create and send invoices into PayPal? I'm going to show you how to get started. An uh, invoice feature can streamline your billing process. So I'm going to show you the very easy way. First of all, what you want to do is have an actual PayPal account. Once you are inside here, you might be seeing the home section. So let's focus into accessing the PayPal dashboard. Once you are in here, if you don't have a PayPal account, of course, you can sign up totally for free. But let's go directly into the invoicing section. So you can see that here is the invoicing. If you don't find it, you have to worry about it. You can always go into the quick links and here find the invoicing section or go here into edit and you need to enable invoicing that appears hit here. So you hit into done and I choose invoicing. Now, once you are logged in and you locate here the invoicing to access the PayPal invoicing feature, let's create a new invoice. So for that, in the invoicing section, let's click into the create new invoice. As you can see here it is. And now you'll be prompted to fill in details such as the recipient email, invoice number, due date, and itemized list of product of the service. So assuming for example here, I can build to an actual new customer. For example, let's say this guy. And now if you add a new customer, it's gonna be asking you for the first, the last name, the business name, the code of the phone number, the billing address, the shipping address, and that will be actually it. Now scrolling a little bit down, it's gonna be telling you what is the item that you wanted to, of course, charge for. So I can add a new item. And here, let's say for example, here is example number one, description, this is just an example. And I have the actual price, and I have the taxes. If this is applicable, if it is not, let's go for no tax. Now what you want to do is to customize all the invoice. So I added all the information and personalized the message. You can also include the discounts, shipping costs, and tax rates if this one is applicable. So this is just an example once again. And then later on, I'm gonna just delete this misspelled stuff. Quantity one, price two, three, four, no taxes. The item name is in this case, this one. And here you can add another row. For example, you have another item to add or into a specific server. So lastly, you have to sell a note to the customers. This is for, I don't know, uh, the latest job, whatever. And go for the full name. You can go for the name and invoice number, whatever. And you can add terms, condition, and other refunds number. And now here into the right part, you have the uh, invoice number if you want to add something specific. The invoice date, the due on receipt, for example, of this, there's a due date of now. As you can see, here's a discount if you wanted to add in a specific discount, for example, I don't know, like a 40% discount, the shipping fee are $23, and if there's another amount you wanted to add. Now, you wanted to allow partial payment if you want to have a minimum update or you can allow tip. Sometimes that's totally optional. So now, as you can see here, after you have successfully done that, you want to make sure that you have review all the details for accuracy and completeness. You want satisfied clicking to the send to deliver the invoice directly to your clients. Uh, so you can check out the settings later. So if you're not sure of what you're seeing here, you can always go here into the T dots and go for the show the link or download the PDF so you can check out how it's going to be looking your actual invoice. So as you can see, here's my invoice number, my invoice date, the amount, due date, um, the item description and all of that. So now what I'm going to be doing here is to open a new tab. I'm going to go into my Gmail account because I sent this invoice to myself so I can check out how it's going to be looking the invoice that I have just sent it to myself. So as you can see here appears into Spanish. So here uh, I'm going to go for check out and pay. And as you can see, here's the invoice that I need to pay. So as you can see, here's my invoice, the due, the amount, the add the tab, the items, and send this directly into somebody else. And that, guys, is how you send a successful uh, invoice directly into your actual PayPal. You can create an actual batch of different invoice if you have an actual template, just in case you have a CSV file and you have all the email address, the purchases items, all of those directly here into CSV files. So you don't have to worry about adding all the information manually. But that's totally optional. That's totally up to you. So guys, with that being said, we're going to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how you can use the actual PayPal. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to check out more videos that we have directly here inside TechPress. Thank you so much for watching the video. And hopefully, you can also see it to a brand new section of TechPress. See you next time.